Hello, everyone. We're having some technical difficulties there. I apologize. It is Wednesday, June 1st, 5 p.m. I go live every Wednesday at 5 p.m. with a different helpful topic. I just wanted to welcome you all. If you are new to the group, say hello. Good afternoon, wherever you're tuning in from. Um, I am here in Massachusetts and it's rainy and cold. June 1st, I have a sweater on, it's cold in my house. So um, if you're alive, hello, great. If you're gonna catch this on replay, awesome, say hi. I love the energy. As long as you get the material, it's totally fine with me. I'm gonna introduce myself for those of you that do not know me. My name is Cheryl Hatcher. I am a business growth strategist and a massive women's financial independence activist, which means I believe that women need their own money because this allows us to have many choices. When women have their own money, it gives them the time freedom to do whatever they want. We do really good things with money. Um, it pays the bills, all different kinds of things like that. So great things happen when we have when we have money in our lives. Um, so if you're, you are new to the group, say welcome, say hello. This is a place for female business owners to hit their first 5k, 10k, 20k, 30k months, whatever you desire in your business, I can get you there. So you are in the right place. Today, we're going to talk about sales and money. So today, we're going to talk about how we make a very big shift in how we're thinking about money and so how we can actually open up the floodgates to your business. I will also give you a quick invitation for what it's like to work with me individually and see what that would look like for your business um, as well. So if you have any questions, drop it in the chat. I love the energy when people um, talk and make comments and say hello, um, give me a little love on the lives. So sleazy sales versus soulful selling. Sales can be a very tricky thing, especially if you're not born with the gift of gab. So if you're a little shy, if you don't like to talk, this may uh, be a little bit more difficult for you. So some of you do know me. Um, you've seen me with the different businesses I have had over the years. I've had a cleaning biz, which I still, I still own and operate now. Um, I've had a toy company. I've been in the real estate business. And you're probably thinking to yourself, oh, sales just comes easy to Cheryl. She's just a natural. And that's entire, not really the case. I was scared shitless when I first started selling, right? Because I just, I felt like sleazy, you know? Um, so I struggled to find the right messaging and the right communication when I was starting out. And I find that this is the key piece that's missing when people are approaching and starting out in sales. So um, I remember having to introduce myself and I would get so nervous talking to people and I, I would like get, I would, I would call it throwing up on people. I would just like say all this crap to them and until their eyeballs rolled in like the back of their heads. And I, and I knew that I had to be done at that point. Um, so I want you to ask yourself this, how will you make money in your business if you don't like to sell? How are you going to keep the doors open? If you can't make an impact on your clients um, with the gifts that you have, how are you going to do that if you don't love selling or have fear around selling? So my goal um, as a coach is to get you to love selling so it doesn't feel all like anxiety ridden and icky and sleazy. I'm going to teach you today how to exactly do that to open up the floodgates for sales in your business. So where is everyone? Where are we all from? Um, put the states you're from, put what kind of business you have. I want to learn all about you. I know what kind of tuning in from like all over the place. Um, or if you're on the replay, I read these. So definitely comment, tell me what you do. And if you really want to build a business that lights you up, that doesn't feel like work, you have come to the right place. You want to have a business that supports your life, that you can build around your life and your lifestyle in your family. If you want the confidence to put yourself out there online, today is going to be very different because you need to be able to market yourself online like Facebook and Instagram and know how to do your branding and your messaging needs to be on point because you only have so many seconds to capture everyone's attention. You know, you don't have 20, 30 seconds, you probably have like five to 10, right? So you have to get this right. And this is super critical. 
This is probably one of the most important things that you need to get because being your genuine you in your business and making that impact is ultimately the thing that's going to light you up. And if that's what you want to do, you are in the right place because I show you exactly how to do that. So if you are earning under $10,000 a month and you want to be able to sell your products and get clients whenever you want, this session is for you. So women fall into the trap of trying to do like a million things like at once. I'm sure we're like the multitaskers of America, right? So we're all talented. We're serving our clients, but have no idea how to get clients. So one can't exist without the other. You need to have both of those skills. And when these things are a match, we start doing all the wrong things to try and make up for why the sales aren't actually coming in the door. So if you have a pen, piece of paper um, on your phone, your notes, write this down. I'm going to name three things and see if any of this resonates with you. So number one, you discount. You reduce your prices in thinking that this is the way to get customers through the door. Has anyone ever done that? I have. Uh, number two, charging by the hour. So when you charge by the hour, people are making a judgment call about how much you're worth. And this enables them to go and price shop and they'll go ask someone else what they charge an hour. So then all of a sudden, they're not looking at the value that you bring to the table. They're saying, oh, well, so-and-so down the road only charges $50 an hour. So I'm going to go with them. Good luck, right? Because they probably don't have half the skills that you have. So you never want to charge by the hour. Um, third is you try and serve everyone. So you try and serve all different kinds of markets. Well, this market isn't working. Let me try appealing to this thing, right? And then it's not your ideal client. You're creating more work for yourself because you have, you have to come up with more branding, more communication, and you're just, you're spinning your wheels. You're in that hamster wheel of what the hell am I doing, right? So those are the three things that usually happen when, when you don't have a grip on how to actually so um, posting three times a day on multiple platforms, on LinkedIn, on Instagram, on Facebook, that is another trap that we fall, fall into. And what happens in the website too, also is build a great website, spend $10,000 on a website, build it and they will come. Not the case. Uh, that's another thing. You get crickets on the website. And then what happens is that the pressure starts to build in your brain in your bank account, right? And then the stress comes. And then you start asking questions like, how am I going to pay for the bills? How am I going to explain to my husband? How am I going to continue to justify doing this, right? And that's a shitty place to be because you never want him to tell you what to do. <laughs> we all know what that feels like, right? That feels shitty. We're going to avoid that. So you're in business to make money. You have things to pay for. Your mortgage, your car, the school, the food, now the gas. It cost me $94 to fill up my tank today. $94. Oh, so yeah. Um, but so you have bills to pay. So you need to make money with your business. You didn't get in business to not make money. If, if you did, it would just be a hobby. So who, so raise your hand, like who is doing some of these things? If you are, put them in the chat. Put me, right? I, I used to. So I just want you all to know that this is a trap. This is a danger trap. And it's totally not your fault because you're doing the things you think you need to do. So if, you, if you're doing any of this, just comment me. Just so you guys know that like you're not alone. And then when you do all this stuff, the reality is, is that this kills your chances to create that business and create that life that you want. You're not charging where you should be. And you're distracted by the next shiny new marketing tool. Oh, maybe this will work. Or maybe this platform, that. You don't need any of that. You need to get rid of some shit going on in your brain that has to do around selling. So you end up in overwhelm is what happens. Um, and then you start doubting yourself. Well, I attract the right person. And then you just develop the wrong set of habits, the wrong mindset. And, and you turn out being your own worst enemy. And if you don't get the success that you're, you're craving and you're wanting, you get that freak out energy, which is actually a repellent to your business, right? That negative, why isn't this happening? So the more and more you say things like that, you're actually putting that stuff out into the universe, right? So I talk with women all the time 
Car, I have conversations with women all the time. And many people I've talked to said they actually folded up their business and went and got a job. And this, like, I hate to hear this because I am so for women's independence and business and stuff like that. And I am on a mission to change this, to help women actually get rid of the fears around selling. Um, so the big problem, this is a big problem. And why I wanted to share this with you today is how do we turn it around? Because you can do it. You all can do this. If I can do it, anybody can do it. We all have the ability to do it. It has nothing to do with luck. This is about acquiring the right skills and putting them into action. That's it. This is a skill that can be taught. I'm not a lucky person. I've never won the lottery. <laughs> I'm just committed. So that's the difference. I'm committed and I'm disciplined to doing the tasks I need to learn and to make shit happen. And other people have done this before. I'm not the first one to have done this. I have clients doing this now as well. They're putting these steps into action once they were able to get out of their own way. So we need to look at how we get out of this trap, actually. Maybe your friends and family are tired of listening about your business. Really, unless they own a business, you shouldn't be talking to them about your business because they have zero, zero understanding of how and what it takes to run a business. They have, they have no idea. Maybe you're posting a lot. Maybe you're posting a few times a day. Maybe you're doing some lives um, and you're finding that this stuff is chewing up too much of your time and you're not bringing the sales in. Maybe you invested in another program or a coach. Um, it didn't, it wasn't that great. It didn't give you what you need. It happens. Sometimes we need to kind of flounder a little bit to find out what we really need. Um, but I want to talk to you about something that I call the jigsaw puzzle effect. So this is when you're doing all these things, right? And you have all these pieces of the puzzle and they're spread all over the floor. And you're spending all your time and your energy and your money trying to figure out how to put these pieces together, right? So you're, you're, you're picking like free stuff, a funnel here, a funnel there, and you're trying to put all this stuff together to make sense, right? And what I've only seen is that women that have a proven duplicatable system for their business, these are the ones that are successful. These are the ones that make it. The, they put the map of all the pieces together that came together in one puzzle, in one box. So they're not taking five different puzzle pieces and trying to put them together. They're taking all the pieces that came in one package, one box, they're putting them together. Um, and these are the ones that are successful. Well, they have the secret, they figured it out. So why would you not wanna have this? Why? It would make your life so much easier and you could do this so much faster. I mean, why would you want to reinvent the wheel? Why would you want to do that? I don't, I don't want to reinvent the wheel. I figured out, I got the right mentors and I figured out, okay, this piece was missing. That piece was missing. I went and I got the right information and, and I put it to action because I, I was serious. I was committed about building businesses and making a change and bringing in a lot of money. Because you know what? Money is awesome. Money is fun. It's fun to make. Anyways, <laughs> let's talk about why women aren't being paid enough. Who wants a pay increase? I do. Who wants to get paid what they're worth? Me. <laughs> Who wants what they are putting out there to come back to them tenfold? I bet you all do. I do too. Comment me if this is you. Who wants to get paid what they're worth? Just comment me. So I work with three different types of women business owners. I work with women who have jobs that are planning to exit and start their own business. So like startups, um, I work with business owners that have already started. I teach them how to bring that big vision into reality for themselves today. And then I work with more established business owners who want to scale and get out of that hustle and overwhelm mentality. So they've, they're making some money, they have the tools, but they're just, they're all over the place and they're constantly, you know, waking up in the morning, hitting the ground running and just in that, you know, overdrive alpha female thing. So I get them out of that. Um, but this can happen. It can happen in 30 days. 
It can happen in 60. It can happen in 90. It is all up to you and what you do and what the work you put in. Because it's not like I wave a wand and I say, there you are on Successful Island. This is work, right? This is work. This is commitment. But it's the work that makes the complete change in your business that you can enjoy for years to come. And you can also duplicate it and start other businesses. So I don't work with everyone. I work with committed women. I'm sure you've heard me say the word committed like five or six times in this conversation. I work with women that are committed to make a change and they are ready to raise their standards and have the life they're dreamed of. So in the chat, I want you all to write down the first word you think of when it comes to selling. So take a minute, write that down. I'm curious to see if the words that I think are going to come up you guys are actually gonna write down. So just bang it out, every word you can think of. I, it might be sleazy. <laughs> it might be trickery, it might be evil, greedy, shame, pushy, anything like that. Because all that BS that's been passed on to us when we think of sales is actually what's happening, that's actually making us feel crappy. So when we get to the table, we hate selling. Now, I can remember going to buy a car um, with my boyfriend and the sales guy wouldn't look at me. Even when I would ask questions, he would look at him. And I'd be like, why are you looking at him? Because I'm the one asking a question. And of course, this got me fired up. So I started raising my voice and asking him more questions until he directed his answers at me, right? So this is what women have dealt with. Um, Some of you have dealt with this. Maybe some of you haven't. Some of you won't even go buy a car by yourself. I've done that because that's fun. Because why shouldn't I? I have my own money. I can go buy my own car. I don't need anyone to come with me. I've done it in the past. And I've done it with with him too. (laughs) With Jay, (laughs) my significant. Um, But so sales has been, in the past, sales has been used as a tool to get people in. And I use the car salesman example because that's the most popular one. It's either that or it's the vacuum um, door-to-door seller, right? But sales, when we think of that, we, you know, we inherently think of it's trickery. They're trying to sell us something. Uh, And it all came from like that car, that car thing. So you have great branding you have great messaging and you have a great strategy, but if you don't fix your relationship with sales, you will never have a successful business. And that's the truth. You can't get around it, right? So how do you move that conversation into a sales conversation without coming across as pushy or sleazy or anything like that, right? So how do we do that? Because I guarantee you, you are getting caught up in your head saying things like, I don't want to be like that. I don't want to be pushy. And then what happens is that out of fear, you just shut down and then you don't have any sales. That's exactly what happens, right? If we don't want to sell, we are not going to make any money. And that is the truth. So what if I told you the problem isn't your script. It's what's happening way before you even have that conversation. The real problem is around your belief of selling and money. And most people think sales equals taking money from people. So it's like taking money, like stealing, it's evil, it's sleazy. There's so much psychic drama that goes around money. It's, it's like ridiculous, right? But I want to be clear here that this feeling that money is about taking, this money block that you're experiencing, if you let this money block win, there are, there is no amount of hard work or a funnel, or a perfect branding script, or messaging, or communication that will ever change anything for you. This money block needs to be changed. It needs to get out of your own way, 100% in order for you to move forward. So you need to change your relationship with money today. So I want you to write this down. 
Um, you can write it on a piece of paper or like on your phone or whatever. Um, you're going to write down sales equals service equals impact equals cash flow equals thriving business and freedom. So sales equals service equals impact equals cash flow equals thriving business and freedom. Because most of the women I speak with, they don't say, I want to make a million dollars a month. They say, I want the freedom. I want the life freedom to make choices for myself, especially women that have gone through divorces and, you know, there may be some stuff going on in there. They want freedom. They want money to be able to make their own decisions, right? We all know that's true. We've all been there before. We've all been there before. So you can't have life freedom, unfortunately, in a thriving business without cash flow. So you need to create this cash flow to fund your lives on whatever level you're on. Okay. So what do you know? What kind of lifestyle do you want? Do you want to go on vacation all the time? Do you only want to work 15, 20 hours a week? Do you want to be able to buy any kind of car you want? You want to move your parents closer to you? Like, is there something like that? Or you want to move out of state and move to your parents? Maybe go to Florida. Um, what does this look like to you? Because your, your cash flow comes from creating this impact of serving your clients. And when I talk about impact, I mean, it's the size of the impact that you can make by learning how to service more people. So obviously, the more people you service, the more impact you're giving, hence the more cash flow. So it, it doesn't go any other way, all right? So you cannot have a thriving business without any cash flow. So cash flow is king, and we need to have cash flow coming in all the time, right? I was speaking with a woman uh, last week who wanted to work with me, but she was getting caught up in not wanting to invest in herself, right? And I share my goals with you. Um, and I use the cleaning business a lot because I feel like this one is like, this relates to a lot of um, women business owners that I talk to because I went from zero money, zero income over to over 650K in three years. And I teach others how to do it because this is a teachable skill. I did it without paying for ads. I did it 100% organically. I did it with knowing how to connect to my client, knowing how to talk to them, knowing how to do my branding, my messaging, knowing how to fix their pain. I did it all. I didn't pay a cent for this in three, a little over three years, right? And it is a teachable skill. And I'm super passionate about it because I can teach a million people how to do this. If people would just get out of their own way, <laughs> we go to the beach, my family, we go to the beach all summer. We go where we want. I love the life that I have created because I took the necessary steps. I committed to myself and I bear down. And, and one thing I did, and I talk about this all the time and I think about it, is that I raised my standards. I said, you know what? I said, I don't want this scraping by to pay my bills. I'm going to raise my standards. Why? Because I'm worth it. I'm freaking worth it. I raised my standards. I got focused, centered, committed, and disciplined, and I did what it took, right? So this woman that I was talking to, so she was getting like all caught up like in my income, like what I was making um, and my cash flow and everything um, and the size of my impact, which obviously is directly related to, you know, who I serve. Um, but you can't make an impact if you aren't serving people. And this is how I show up and I support my clients to have this transformation. So you can't service anyone if you can't fix your relationship around money. What you need to do is switch your mindset from selling to service. You get to stop getting caught up in all that, the thought process of greed and evil, you have to truly look at the problem that you're solving for your client and say, I'm today, you can even walk out of the house and say, I, don't stop calling it a sales call. Call it a service call. I'm going on a service call today. I have three service calls today. And start just like retraining your brain and to think that 
you know, you're not selling, you're actually helping someone. You're providing a service. But someone needs a problem to be solved and you're the problem solver. And, and once you start thinking like that, then that's how you fix your issue with money. So you focus on serving your clients, your audience, showing up for them, being you, being genuine, because they don't want some fake person. They want to relate to you. That's what everyone craves, human connection. They want to have a normal conversation with you. And you want to show them, you don't want to be like, I am selling. You want to show them that you're just like them. And, and this, I'm telling you, once you get this, it's so easy. You'll want to you'll want to go on service calls all the time because it's like so fun. So being committed is the number one thing. I share a lot of my personal stories with my um, my mastermind students because I want everyone to know what I've gone through to get there. I've been said no to a million times because I sounded like a jerk, right? In my my sales calls, whatever. Um, I sell one of my favorite things to do, and I teach this is I sell, um, I sell with my branding, my prior branding before I even get to the appointment. So I know it's a warm lead, right? So I sell with the right communication. Um, I make myself look extremely approachable online because nobody wants an unapproachable person. Nothing ever feels sleazy with me, with my sales appointments at all. I'm totally comfortable around everyone I talk to. And whoever I am supposed to attract into my business and into my life is the people and the persons I, that are supposed to be in my life, right? So if you really want to unlock and switch your mindset to serving your clients, let me know. I will be more than happy to help you. Totally. Because you want to truly focus on service. And that's how you learn how to sell. And once you really get this, it'll honestly, it'll change your business. I am here to serve. We talk about purpose in life. I am here to teach others how to do this and how to get there on a much faster level. So I use all my pain, all my struggles, my failures, and I don't even really call it failure. It, I call it a journey because we all have our own journeys to get there. And this has allowed me to teach my clients at a much faster level to not have half the experience as I did, right? And I teach you how to get there faster. I teach you how to be successful and serve your clients. And this can be the same for all of you. You just have to trust yourselves. You have to be committed and you have to believe that you can do it. When you really get this, you will be able to make the impact on your clients that you have been wanting to make for so long. So does anyone have any questions? Do um, you want to just drop them in the comments? I love questions. I love answering things. I see selling actually as a gateway um, for, the, for the pure transformation of who I can help and who, whose life I can truly change. So if you are tired of hitting your head against a brick wall, don't hit the brick wall too heavy. <laughs> um, if you are really wanting to change and you feel that you are at a committed level where you want to work on your business, my vision is to create a wave of female business owners to get the value of these skills, how to package it up, how to price everything, how to sell their services, how to get money goals, whether it's 10K, 20K a month, it could be, I don't know, it could be 100K a month, right? It's all the same principles. At that point, it just comes down to volume and systems and leverage, right? So I have a selling blueprint and I teach women how to sell in a serving way. So your past experiences make you who you are today. Everyone has a story. And so you started your business out of a passion. So you can share that story with your clients, right? Following the blueprint that I do, I teach you how to sell authentically to be yourself through the entire sales process. I teach you how to have normal conversations so you don't feel all rickety and icky when you get to the appointment, right? With your customers. I teach you all that stuff. So how does that sound? How does that sound to everyone? Does anyone have any questions? I teach you how to confidently sell your packages, um, put your offers together, your services, and, and ultimately hit your payday, right? Um, so if you are committed, comment the word committed 
underneath, just so I know. Um, this is what I do. I help you guys pull together your offers. I help you sell what sold. Give you, I give you the systems you can follow. Like I give you everything that I have done and everything that I've learned over the past 20 years. I just, just give it to you and I teach you how to do it. Um, the first couple of weeks, we're going over your offers. We're pulling that all together. We're, we're pulling your target market together, all that stuff, because we need to know who your target market is. So then we can figure out our, the right like messaging and communication to them online, right? Because that's like so huge. It'll save you so much time. If you can just nail that, it'll save you so much time. We get your offer down, who you're here to service. We set up your marketing, your, your marketing strategy, your branding strategy, and we show you how to sell authentically. Um, so if you want this, if you just want to have a chat to see that would look like in your business, because each business is a little bit different um, and see if it's a right fit for both of us, I am happy to get on the phone call and see if that's something that um, that would work for you and for me. Um, so comment the word blueprint. I will reach out to you. Um, what I do in my program is I have a lot of like I have homework. I have exercises you bring to class every week. Um, and they're all revolved around writing your offer, your branding, where you're going to sell, your cash flow, um, how to hire employees. We talk about that. That's a big one right now. Everything you need to sell and grow and get that time freedom in your life. That's what we do. So I hold your hand through the entire process. It's not a big amount of videos. Oh, here's the program. Here you go. Good luck. See you later. I oh, don't do that. I am on this with you. I learn everything about your business. And we just kick ass. That's what we do. We work together and we kick ass. It, so we just take your business to the next level. That's what we're going to do. If you work with me, you know you're going to work, you're going to be committed, and we're going to take your business to the next level. So the main point is this. Do you believe your work is of value? Do you like what you're selling? Most of us started from a passion. Um, I was always good at cleaning, but I wanted to help women that didn't have time to do it, right? Because most women are working 40 hours a week plus. They're taking care of the kids. The husband's working. Um, as women have had this increase in independence, there is still um, a bridge that the woman is working full time and then coming home and still doing all the housework and all that stuff for the most part. Every once in a while, you get a guy that's like, that will like help, but like, I don't know, like 80% of them, they're not doing it. So women have like two, two jobs essentially. So with the cleaning business, I wanted to help women take that off their plates and not have to worry about the house cleaning. So I was, I came from a position of, of helping women, of serving women to make their lives easier with the cleaning business. Anyways, so if any of this is resonating with you um, and you would like to talk to me, please reach out to me. Um, I can give you that shift you need. I can help you with that confidence that you need to fall in love with selling because this is ultimately what needs to happen, right? Soulful selling is all about focusing on service servicing your clients. I'm not going on a sales call. I'm going on a service call, right? So I'm here to do the best I can for my clients, the impact, the cash flow, to keep the doors open for your business and have all this money come in and, thr and thrive and grow because you all deserve it. This is my ultimate goal for you is to keep your business open and thrive and make a six-figure income. This is what I want. So if you would like some help, reach out. I am here. I truly want to serve you. I want to back you to rise. So I want you all to have an amazing day. I hope this was helpful. Um, like I said, I do go live every Wednesday at 5 p.m. And if you're in my group, I usually send you an alert as well. So I want you to all have an amazing afternoon, evening, morning, wherever you are. And I will see you very, very soon. Thank you so much. All right. Bye-bye.